I just had an out-of-body experience in Agatha that was awesome. Oh, the trees are huge there. The fruit is huge. The people are huge. Everything is bigger. Everything is warmer, brighter, more colorful. Oh, it's an incredible experience. I have been eating nothing but fruit and also fasting, com com combining and doing colonics and flushing my system. And this has been opening up my third eye chakra and, and through meditation which I'm going to teach you, you can concentrate and actually project yourself out of your body and project yourself downwards and do a long distance projection into the inner earth, Agatha. Oh, and you can also visit the many other great cities of the inner world. Oh, there are so many people, giants greeted me there and said, mm. they said, you can see us and we can see you because we are spiritual enough to be able to perceive your spiritual body, your light body. Everybody has one of these. You have one. And when you sleep, usually your light body hovers about three feet above your body. Okay? But you can direct that. And the more conscious you become, the more clean you become in your colon, in your mind, the more that you are able to be able to uh, remember these kind of situations because here's the other thing coming back into my body a lot of my consciousness I have programming that will try to stop me from remembering it um, remember zero fear is always the best thing when you're leaving your body you can't have any fear or you're gonna have a negative experience no you have love you're filled with comic you fill your heart with cosmic love meditate on the greats like Ashtar Sharan or the Anunnaki or find a spiritual leader that you can meditate upon and, and get that real love vibe going in your heart. Maybe it's Jesus Christ. Get that love vibe going in your heart. And then, whatever it takes to get you in a consciousness of perfect peace and love, then take yourself one step at a time out of your body. It's so easy when you're much cleaner. That's why... Um, many who of you are tuned into this are probably um, conscious already of your diet. You're probably already vegan. You're probably or 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 vegetarian, at least. Um, and you're interested in these things because you're like, wow, I think it's important to have a clean chakra system. To have my third and fourth eyes clean, open, same thing. It was an amazing experience. And I, I'm so jacked on getting other people to experience the same thing. It's an altered state of consciousness. Get your body to the right temperature. Lay down flat. Get, get in a comfortable position where you will not be disturbed. Turn off the lights. Close everything where it's totally pitch black. You don't need to be pitch black either. Your concentration becomes so much higher when you become monofruitarian. When you're eating just one kind of high quality food. Like cherries or grapes at once. I push monofruitarianism in many of my videos because it is fantastic for the energy. It raises the whole vibration of your body. And you can also receive energy and consciousness from other extraterrestrial beings, from other um, conscious pools of energy that dwell in the steps of the earth, the abysses, the or and also the sky. There's many... Um, like Ashtar, I communicate. It's like I have a light going out from the forehead. I see it. I see it in the fifth dimension. The connection. Bypass the fourth, moving to the fifth is much more interesting and safer. But don't fear. When you don't fear, there's no danger. Because perfect love casts out fear. That's the scripture. But it's true. When you stay in your love, you stay lit up, you stay in light, your light will always protrude, protrude through the darkness. So more about inner earth. Fruit is mainly consumed for dietary. Um, some consume a bit of other plants. Meat is forbidden. Outlawed. Um, there's really no processing, or very minimal, if any, processing done to any of their foods. Um, they have technology, though, that instead of w heating up food with something like a microwave, which is totally uh, unhealthy, they have um, technology that 
warms up things and cools down things that is totally uh, good for the body, it, it, natural. Um, a lot of their technology is plant-based. They use amino acids like it's like um, they actually use material like what you'd find in an avocado for a computer. Oh, and by the way, try not to consume avocados. And, and I mean, a little bit of avocado is good, but I mean, they're mostly fat. And actually, don't consume avocado at all if you have other high-quality food around. Monofruitarianism is also uh, focusing on eating just good fruits that are um, like papayas and yeah, cherries. I already mentioned that. And the cherries in Agatha, by the way, are huge. The grapes and the cherries are both huge. They're they're like this. They're like yeah. You they're so big, like like it described in the Old Testament, where it took two people to put a pole through them and carry them. Except for the giants can carry the uh, cherries. They don't need two men, but they can carry like a huge you know, a, a cluster of, uh, of cherries bigger than myself. Mm. And in my light body, I'm actually bigger. And I could warp and I could shape shift, I could change into different forms while I was there. And, you know, it's very exciting.